Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Bhumutakki. Today we'll see one of the important topics that is DBT macro real-time use case. Okay, so if you see this is my input, my expected output is like this. Okay, see what are, what's requirement. So wherever spaces are there, I want to remove the spaces before and after. And see here empty string. So I want to make it to null. One more time. My requirement is that what wherever spaces are there before or after, I want to remove the spaces or I want to trim the spaces. And one more thing, this is the empty string. Now, wherever empty string, I want to make it to null. This is the use case. Okay. So let us discuss and see remove spaces and make empty string to null. So this is string function and we need to make it to null. Okay. So before that, you should have understanding of what is dbt macro. So macros are piece of SQL code that can be reused. Simply it's useful for MS user defined function, mainly for code reusability purpose. Okay, see the syntax. So see macro, macro name, the argument one, arguments, the number of arguments, our logic, whatever write the logic will put inside here and this is the missing. So macro and macro, so the syntax, okay. Now same thing, we'll see the same thing with practical use case. One second, hold on. Okay, so whenever you guys are preparing anything, not let me create some dummy data and work on this use cases. Okay, this is the best practice. Okay, create the table. So insert some dummy data. Okay, see this data. So select data. How can you select the data by using select star from EMP underscore team control enter. Okay. So now see my data. So here, okay, so spaces are there. Null is there. Empty spaces are there and I have the same thing, okay. Now what's my requirement? See, first requirement is that I want to remove the spaces. How can I remove the spaces? You should have knowledge on trim function. So trim function will remove the spaces before and after. But what happened here, null is there. So see here empty string. So see, I want, so this is empty string, but I want to make it to null. We should go for what concept? Go for case statement. See, simple thing, case when, Okay, what I want to do, so case when, okay, see trim of, okay, name equal to empty string. Okay, then what I want to make it to, then make it to null. Okay, else, what I want to do, else, else, simply trim of name. Okay, see the same thing, you'll get some clarity. So see, now what happens, so see, remove this functionality. Okay, control enter. See the data, this is actual data. Now see spaces are removed and spaces are removed at the end also. But what happened, one more use case, wherever empty string is there, I want to make it. See, case when trim of name equal to empty space or empty string, then make it null. Same use case, now I want to go for reusability purpose. How can you go for use, reusability purpose in DBT with the help of DBT macros? I'm trying to create one macro, then you can able to understand the functionality. Okay, simple thing, okay. So macro, go for trim, macro. Okay, so trim macro. What So see how many arguments require? Only one argument. So see call, what is syntax case when? So see trim of column. Okay, see so trim of column equal to empty string. Then what I want to make it to then? So then I want to make it to null. Okay, else what I want to do else? So see else I want to remove simply the spaces. So trim of call, okay, and the end. Here what happened, how dbt knows an argument we need to put in the Zinza expression. So let me put in a Zinza expression, same thing. So put in a Zinza expression, now it will be working as it is. So see case, so see macro, macro name. Okay, how many arguments are there? See single argument, okay, see. So this is the argument, okay, see call one, one second, call one. So macro, name of the macro and the argument. So call is the argument, okay. Case when, so trim of argument equal to empty space, then make it to null. Else, so just a simple, just a simply, so trim the before and after I want to trim the spaces. Control C, Control V, dot SQL. Where I want to save, so we want to save in the macros folder and create. Now what happens, so macro has been created. Now we need to call the macro or invoke the macro. Simply open one more session. Okay, so copy the same logic. So see, copy the same thing. Control C, Control V. Okay, so Control V. Now what happened? So see, 
remove the semicolon comma now what's our macro name so macro name is so trim underscore macro okay see how can you call the macro with the help of what is the help of zinza expression okay so with the help of zinza expression so this is the zinza expression okay so place it now what's our uh, uh, name of the argument that is name okay see name try to preview the data see the data so see both are same as see so let me put one column alias z okay and k let me preview one more time If both are same data we're getting as see, see this is the input and see Pravin Kumar null null ram same thing Pravin, so we can able to remove this functionality and we can able to go with the help of macro that's the main purpose of this macro is the reusable same thing we can able to use in multiple models just to park just invoke the macro and pass the column name okay so this is the functionality so first we need to define the macro macro name of the macro case when trim of so first we should check empty string is there if empty string make it null if it is not empty just to trim the before and after this is one thing same thing we are trying to call in the model for so the same functionality so so this is very very useful in any projects you know the same functional this is one of the real time use case okay so trim macro so removing the spaces and making empty string to null okay if you like the content subscribe and share the channel thank you for watching